as in the previous videos we have already seen like in asp.net we will be creating the dynamic websites for which we require a web server and here we are going to discuss about one that is called iis basically iis stands for internet information services which is basically the built-in web server provided by the microsoft windows operating system so in any non home edition of microsoft windows operating system you will find iis which you can configure and then you can start deploying your applications so it is an extensible web server created by microsoft for the windows family as i said is used to deploy websites and services websites means whatever you will be creating in microsoft asp.net or in asp.net mvc any services such as asp.net web services or wcf services so such services can also be deployed in iis being a web server iis supports multiple protocols for the various kinds of communication such as http https that is hypertext transfer protocol ftp fttps that is file transfer protocol smtp simple mail transfer protocol and nntp that is network news transfer protocol so multiple kinds of communication can be made through iis server if you want to upgrade your iis or want to get some information about it you can visit to the official website of iis that is www.is.net but whenever you install a windows in your machine by default iis is not configured it has to be configured manually so let's see practically how can we configure iis or how can we install iis in our windows operating system so in order to configure the iis in your system first of all i will come to the control panel inside which i will find programs and features as soon as i will get here here on the left hand side you can see turn windows features on or off so as soon as i will click on this here i will get a box inside which it will show me the number of options so what i'll do i will just come inside this ias and will check all the boxes by expanding the tree so make sure you are checking all the check boxes inside to make it fully configured so now as you can see as soon as i have checked all the check boxes it is showing me completely checked initially it was like that which means it was partially checked and along with that if you want you can also configure the latest features of the dotnet framework in your system if they are not available so that's what i'm doing for my machine particularly okay and uh, let's see and after that let's click on okay so now you can see the changes have been applied and now you can simply click on the close button when we were choosing the various features of iis they are going to just provide us the various operations that we can do in asp.net websites now to check like whether the iis is properly configured or not you can simply come to run and type inet mgr as soon as i will do that it will show me the is window and here on the left hand side you can see that's the main that's my machine name that's localhost and inside which i have the default website with few pre configured websites inside it so when we want to create a new asp.net website either we can come directly here or we can just create that and later we can deploy our website over the iis so by the time we'll start working on asp.net we'll show you the various ways to deploy your websites over iis